The Houston Shafa Services Clinic was inaugurated in southwest Houston in 1997 by a group of volunteers, primarily doctors, to provide medical help to people that are economically disadvantaged without regard to ethnicity, color, or creed. Despite all the hardships in the economy in the past years, the Shifa Clinic has continued to provide help for the needy. The services have eased the pain and suffering of many individuals when such help is beyond their means. The Shifa Clinic continues to expand its vision to increase services to people that can't afford medical insurance. In the beginning, the clinic was about 100 square feet. In 1999, it occupied 1,600 feet square of space and expanded services to include educational services and legal aid. The volunteers at the Shafa Center allowed us to take a look inside their medical rooms. Here we have some of their different equipment they use on patients, including a vision and dental area. The clinic uses these two examination areas to help patients get what they need for regular checkups. The building also has a waiting area where patients can sit before entering the examination rooms. Community members and local physicians regularly come to the Shafa Clinic to volunteer in these rooms and aid the patients in accordance to their needs. Additionally, after speaking with the Director of Community Services inside the clinic, we find out much more about what the organization is about and how they contribute to the community. The mission of the organization is to provide a community-oriented alternative for people who may not be able to afford medical attention or treatment. The clinic is a nonprofit healthcare facility and has four locations in the Houston area. The idea came with some of the doctors in the community and they say that we should do something for the community. Uh, and they started in a small you know, clinic where they started helping people who were not able to pay the doctor fee. And um, most of the immigrants, they were really suffering. They don't have any job, they don't have money, so we started helping those. And then gradually we came up with more doctors and more resources. The Shiva Clinic is run by a group of volunteer doctors and a volunteer office staff. So we provide the primary care and then every Saturday uh, we have different specialists coming. So there are a variety of you know, doctors coming and uh, they come free and we provide the uh, um, specialist services. But that is uh, of course is a concerning service so people can get with the you know, chronic disease and they can get the information and guidance. Mm -hmm. uh, from the specialist. In addition to the clinic's doctors who volunteer at the building, other organizations such as MD Anderson also come to the clinic to provide free services to the patients. Now we're at the Shifa Clinic in uh, Houston and we're doing the patients today, giving them free mammograms. We're with the UT MD Anderson mobile mammography unit and so we're trying to reach as many women as possible. Right now, today, we've got 27 scheduled, so we, it looks like we'll be doing all 27. And then hopefully we'll be back to do some more. Hopefully. The clinic focuses on preventive, family, general, and pediatric care for its patients. The director said that they help people coming from abusive families to go through treatments for several months. Uh, beside this, we have uh, you know, um, uh, our own uh, Shifa Woman Shelter where we keep uh, um, abused women, you know, family violence and uh, abused women, we bring them and this is another department of Shifa and uh, they provide uh, help to the abused women who are uh, suffering from some of the abuse going through their husband and abuse. And within three, six months they, they get some sort of job or they get some, some house and they stand on their feet and they start, so these are the basic uh, services we provide. Besides medical, there are a lot of other problems. People don't have the rent payment, they don't have food, they have a um, variety of problems, you know. So um, uh, this community service department was created and I am heading this department and we are helping all the people. Since the organization is a nonprofit, where do they get the money to provide for their patients and maintain their clinic? Shifa Clinic has a website where people can donate amounts to the organization to help keep it running. Additionally, they hold fundraisers to help raise money. However, they do still endure the challenge of not having enough to cover their expenses. 
but so far has not been a major issue due to the generosity of our community. We do fundraising uh, every year. Different departments do their own fundraising. So much funding, but we always remain short. Uh, our organization policies are different, so the high-ups are looking at some of the government help. Uh, we got the help for this clinic from the city of Houston, about $900,000. And we are in the matching fund, so we have this building community center in Shiva Clinic. Mm -hmm. So the, it was funded by the city of Houston. And uh, likewise, the uh, government is also helping us in uh, building the women's shelter and offenders uh, rehabilitation centers. So, yeah, some of the funds coming from the government. The website is also another way they raise awareness about the organization. Prescriptions can be very expensive as well. Because of this, patients can also apply to receive branded medication if they qualify. If they are eligible, they get free treatments. The Shifa Clinic and Community Center is always working to expand. They appreciate any volunteers and doctors that will help enlarge the area of services for the clinic. The organization trains volunteers so that they can cooperate with the patients. The Shifa Clinic provides free medical care for everyone, whether they have a fixed income or no income. Learning about an organization that started out as a small gathering and is still solely made up of volunteers taught us how we can come together in a community and help those who are less fortunate without expecting anything in return. In this specific experience, the organization provided aid for people without insurance and for those who are abused, injured, or emotionally broken. Healing the community one patient at a time.